Also this morning, another migrant shelter set to open today. This is controversy is brewing over Mayor Brandon Johnson's plan to build tent cities for the asylum seekers here in Chicago. Yeah, we do know he signed a $29 million contract with an international company without debate from city council. NBC5 Sandra Torres joins us live now from the Fulton Market neighborhood with the very latest. Sandra. JC and Michelle, let's start with what's happening today. The city is opening a temporary shelter. So that's happening at this office building along Octon Avenue here in the Fulton Market neighborhood. And that is for families who recently arrived in the United States who are seeking asylum. But the city is still overwhelmed with the amount of migrants that they are helping trying to find housing. At last check, city officials tell us there are a total of about 8,300 migrants in city shelters, with about 2,000 of them awaiting places at police stations and city airports. That is why the mayor is moving forward with this plan to move them into tent cities, signing a $29 million contract with the company Garda World to make it happen. But some aldermen question why the same company that has a Florida contract to bust the migrants here will now make millions to care for them. The fact that we're spending $29 million on a tent city system that probably won't even function in sub-zero weather Chicago style uh, is just amazing to me. And the fine print of the deal reveals Garda will provide security, three meals a day, daily child care for seven days a week, van transport to school and doctor appointments, as well as laundry. We've learned that the city of Denver also had a very similar deal with Garda World, but they ended up pulling out of that deal due to concerns after questions were raised about alleged abuses of mistreatment towards migrants. We've also learned, NBC5 has learned, that staffers at Garda recently under underwent training uh, to address some of those concerns. Reporting live here in the Fulton Market neighborhood, Sandra Torres, NBC5 News.